Ash and hello other viewers. This is a little video talking about the pros of working in an Australian bookstore. If you haven't seen part one, which was the cons of working in a bookstore, just click on the link below and it'll send you right there. I thought I'd just kick it off right away with number one, which is customers. I have some of the most amazing conversations with the people who come into work. It's an amazing feeling to be able to hand someone a book and say, you're gonna love this. And I kind of get a little bit creepily passionate about books that I really, really enjoyed. I also love the suggestions that customers give me. We have regulars who come in who we all know each other by name and they kind of come in, give us titles, we give them titles, it's a nice little swap, it's great. I have some amazing conversations with some of the older customers because where I work is situated not far away from about three or four retirement homes and I love hearing the stories about how one of our customers' husbands was in the World War II and he fought with these people and met these people and it's just it's really good. I carry these stories with me too. I pass them on to other customers and they shuffle things around. It's just like a little story hive. I could go on and on and on all day about the customers I have at work because really they are they are great. They are why I love my job even more so than the books. So just a word of advice to anyone who is watching this. If you're in a bookstore talk to the people at the counter. We live for that otherwise we're just kind of standing around all day filing books and putting stickers on and receiving orders. Make our day. Make conversations with us. Tell us what books you like to read. We'll swap stories. The other perk of working in a bookstore is obviously free books. <laughs> For anyone who isn't familiar with um, book terminology, there are books called readers, which are pretty much just like uncorrected proofs of books that are about to come out in the coming weeks. Working in a bookstore, we actually get sent a lot of readers um, so that when we're talking to customers, we actually know what the books are about. They tend to look like this, so they don't actually have proper covers. That's, I haven't read any of these yet. They're all actually already out these. But um, they just tend to have plain covers with no barcode, no nothing. And on the back it tends to tell you when it's coming out, the release date, the retail price, what genre it is. And there's usually a couple of reviews in there by the publishing house as well. The downside to that is that there can be a lot of bad books, but you don't necessarily have to finish them. On the plus side though, I've read some really great books as readers. I'm Remembered by Jessica Brody and Siege by Sarah Mussey are uh, two of the big ones that I always remember. My third point is book fairs and publishing house events and things like that. I haven't actually had a chance to go to any of these events yet but there's one coming up at the end of next month that I'm really excited for, um, for two big publishing houses in Australia and they're just big book event gatherings really. It's pretty much just like a big meeting of book lovers and people who work at bookstores and authors and publishing houses and as far as I know there's just plenty of free alcohol. My final point would be the books themselves. It's just really lovely to be able to work every day with things that you're so passionate about. It's quite overwhelming sometimes too when you take a step back and you look at how many books are in the store and you realise how many authors have sat down there and written each individual book. It's every title on that shelf is, you know, months out of someone's life and it's just, it's kind of cool. I was very, very lucky to get the job that I have. Getting positions in bookstores is actually very, very difficult for anyone who doesn't already know someone who works at a store. And so I'm very, very thankful for the opportunities that it's given me and just the different experiences that I've been able to have since working there. I think I'll leave this video here. I don't really have much more to say. But I hope you enjoyed it, Ash. I hope you learned something new. And I will see you next time. Bye.